Hey guys, so today I wanted to talk about what is the best VPN to use for Chrome or Google Chrome. And that's ExpressVPN here, which I have already uh, installed uh, in as part of an extension for Chrome. And so I want to kind of show you why it's the best, uh, talk about what you want to look for with a good VPN for Chrome, and also just kind of go through and actually show you some examples of how to use it, like here with Netflix as an example. So uh, right now, as you can see, I'm connected to London. Uh, in in the in the UK. Now I'm actually in Oregon in the US. But as an example, when I try to search for the guild right now, it's not showing me the guild as something I can watch because it thinks I'm in the UK. So if I type in Doctor Who as an example, then Doctor Who does come up. So I can go ahead if I want to watch Doctor Who now. Doctor Who will show up uh, because, again, it thinks I'm in the UK. Uh, oh, and I forgot to mention, I will put links in the description uh, for Express if you want to get more information about it or any of the best deals and discounts. Again, I'll put all that in the description for you. Okay, so what I want to show you next is how uh, you can go ahead and change this then to back to the US. So I'm going to use uh, what's called a smart location. And a lot of VPNs will have something like this. The idea is it's meant to make it really easy for you to connect to the server that's closest to you that should give you the best performance. So they kind of different names for it, but it's something like Smart Location. So I'm going to click on that, and that will connect me now to Seattle. So with a good uh, VPN for Chrome, you want to make sure you have one that's compatible, that doesn't crash, and that gives you the same features that you'd expect to have if you open the app. So if I just were to open the Express app as an example, it would just open up here, and then I could go through and you know change preferences and, and, and things like that. Uh, but when you're using the it in Chrome, you want to make sure you're not missing out on any of those features. So that's that's uh, probably one of the, the big things to look for. The other side of it is you now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and just I'm going to go back to home, and then I'm going to show you. I'm going to search for the guild now. And lo and behold, there's the guild. So while we couldn't watch it when Netflix thought I was in the UK. Now that Netflix believes I'm back in the US, thanks to ExpressVPN, I can now watch The Guild again. So let's say The Guild is one of your favorite shows to watch and you're in the US and then you're traveling abroad. You know, do you not watch The Guild anymore? Well, that's one option. <laughs> or if you have a VPN like Express, you can go ahead and use that um, to go ahead and, and watch your favorite shows that you're used to watching in the US. Or, I suppose, if you're in the UK or Europe or elsewhere in the world and you want to be able to watch shows that uh, uh, Americans are, you know, watch American Netflix, this is a way to do that as well. So the other thing you want to look for is just making sure that you have a VPN that um, keeps you secure, that has fast streaming. And that's especially important for something like, say, unblocking Netflix, is you want to be able to watch it uh, without it buffering or without... Um, you know, it pausing and, and, and so forth because it uh, it's slowing your internet speed down. Now, all VPNs will slow your inter internet speed down at least a little bit, but depending on the VPN you use, some will do it a lot less and some will do it a lot more. And Express is really the best when it comes to that. So again, that's why I like to recommend it and use it. Uh, and then, of course, you have the options for uh, like privacy and security, some different settings. Uh, you, here you can spoof your location. Uh, here you can prevent websites from discovering your true IP. Uh, and this will automatically connect you to the more secure HTTPS version of websites when that's available. Uh, so all these are uh, I have selected on. And then let's see. Uh, there's some general settings in here that you can, you know, uh, check. Like, for instance, if you always want to make sure to connect to your VPN when you launch your browser, you can select that. Um, I don't have that selected because it's it's just going to be occasionally I might want to use it um, with Chrome here. So anyway, that's basically the idea. Again, you want to make sure you find a VPN that works really well with Chrome and that does all the things you'd want a VPN to be able to do, protect you um, for whatever you're watching, um, and uh, be able to change your location if you want it to do that, anonymity, privacy, all those things for a good VPN. So that's where Express really is the best because you get not only the reliability of working with Chrome, 
but you also get uh, just the top-notch performance and all those things I was talking about, speed, uh, reliability, privacy. Uh, no, it's not logging any of your, uh, your your information that, you know, it's it's showing someone what you're seeing, what you're viewing, and so forth. So anyway, if you have any questions, let me know down below. And uh, as I mentioned before, I will put links in the description where you can certainly get the best deals or discounts if you do want to pick up Express. And otherwise, let me know what other questions you guys have. This was a great idea um, to suggest this as a video to do. But if there's something else you'd like to know about, whether it's Express or VPNs, uh, again, let me know. And otherwise, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.